Hello Mac Warriors, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of Mac Warrior Online. Today we are playing the Black Widow, another hero and uh, I figured out a build yesterday in my stream uh, with you together that I really really love to play. So I think this is the, the build that I enjoy the most in like a month or two. This is so much fun to play. What is it? We are doing uh, the double snub nose, single LB10, triple light machine gun, double medium pulse laser build. It seems a little bit all over the place, but let me tell you this. It performs really, really well. And you might guess that I'm, or you might see that I'm very excited about it. Um, it's just because it has good sustain, it has a lot of critical damage options, it has a uh, nice brawling potential, it opens the cans with the snub noses and the medium pulses and then you just shoot the LB10 afterwards and the light machine guns. You have a lot of intimidation factors here, so again, getting hit by a PPC is never fun for an enemy. They try to twist away from that and when they see light machine guns or machine gun fire afterwards, they, they are getting freaked out even more. And it, it, you will see that in the games, it plays like a charm. We're running a light engine 280 here for survivability. It has a decent speed of 64 kph. It is just a decent Warhammer. The skills look like that. Uh, we have a lot of stuff invested into firepower. I wanted a magazine capacity and LBX spread and then cooldown, 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 cooldown. You want to fire your weapons as fast as possible. And uh, as you can see, we, we have almost all of the blue nodes. And um, I got some velocity nodes here. So they are not really needed, but they are very convenient. It's really nice to have them on the PPCs here to, to get the, the PPC fire actually to where you want to land them. I have a little bit of structure here because the Black Widow has structure quirks and amplifying them with skills is a nice idea. Also, um, having some structure to, to absorb overheat damage is always nice. So therefore, I'm going for this here. No mobility. Uh, no jump chats, of course. Uh, I'm going for full cool run. I have 60% rated deprivation and a consumable slot. So that is the build. And I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming. And if you have that, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, first game of the day. We are playing the Caustic Valley. We are playing Skirmish here. You do not have to NASCAR on this map. And uh, I try to motivate my team to go into the Delta 4, Echo 4 okay. area and okay. just stay here, build up a firing line and try to defend that spot. So our Annihilator is going in, our Kodiak is going in, everybody's setting up and we are doing kind of a yeah. counter push here. Okay. So let's see if that works or not. Also our uh, Annihilator gets wrecked. That's bad. It's a lot of missile stuff coming up there. Shoot the missile boats. Come on, guys. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, I'll try. I'll try! Let's see what we can do here. Alright. I got a lot of damage here. But it's fine. Again, we needed to defend this spot. Die Wolf is... Ah, yeah, good. Keep keep up the damage on the Die Wolf. Uh, yeah, again. We do the counter NASCAR. We do the aggressive strategy right in their faces here. And uh, yeah, as you can see, we are putting up a lot of pressure <laughs> and so do they. So that's the cool thing about it. It escalates really hard. Okay, we do something like this and we do something like this and keep up the damage with the medium pulse lasers. Okay, here comes the missiles. That's a lot of missiles. All right. The good thing about the missile carriers is that they, they need to um, adapt to a new target every time they lose lock. So we try to play the hit and run game here. Mm, there's something going on the right side. Yeah, uh, we should really help out here. The Bushwacker. Tan oh, wait, it's not a Thanatos, it's a Roughneck. Okay, we go for machine guns. He is open in the side. Maybe we can crit his... Yeah, we definitely can crit his torso. Alright, down it goes. Nice kill here, and I think we just keep up the damage. Let's go. India, India, India. Let's go. Uh, show yourself. Hey, don't shoot me, man. I'm your friend. I am your friend, guys. Don't shoot me. Holy crap, what a game. <laughs> this is just escalating so hard. <laughs> but I love it. I love when that happens. Hey, man. Nope, nope, not quite. Bushwacker is so core. He's cherry red. Kill him. Uh, what target is that? Uh, India, India, India. One shot. Oh, the missiles are a problem. Let's go for this. Okay. Man, that game. 
I like it so much. You cannot even imagine how how much fun I have right now. And yeah, as you can see, heat is, ma heat is manageable. So you you just shoot your stuff uh, staggered. That works very well. Can we kill him? Probably not. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Please stop shooting for a second. Thank you. Ah, I need to get back. <gasps> what is going on here, guys? <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, this guy is dead. He's still dead. No, he's running a light engine. Oh, <gasps> interesting. Interesting build there. All right, so I need to make sure that I'm not getting caught by some pinpoint damage. Uh, let's try to hit that Marauder. Yeah, there goes my right arm. Goodbye, right arm. Uh, we shouldn't really... Uh, oh, maybe. Okay, that guy's dead. There's a Marauder coming up, Echo 5. Echo 5 is a Marauder. Marauder to see, actually. So where do we go, guys? Um, this guy is a stick. This guy is not. So we try to destroy that missile boat. Is that an XL? No. But we got it anyway. Uh, here comes the Marauder. Man, I love this build, guys. This is so much fun to play. So much fun to play. Pushing the Marauder. Let's go. Push uh, above Echo 5. Everybody follow me to victory and glory. All right. So here we go. Oh, wait. Here we go. Okay, this guy is basically a stick. Another kill. Guys, we are onto something here. This is a very interesting build. There goes my machine gun ammo. <laughs> Alright. Uh, we've got one enemy, which is an... Oh, that's the Lerm boat here. That's a supernova. That's no, not really a Lerm boat. It's an ATM. ATM and Lerm boat. Oh my god. Alright, we got it. <sighs> I love this. Oh, and he disconnected. Ah, that's a problem. I'm sorry to say that, but... Yeah, interesting build. He's trying to um, shoot Lerms before the ATMs to make sure that AMS is not killing all the ATMs here. But yeah, uh, as you can see, even on a very hot map, we dealt 829 damage. We got 3 killing blows, 8 assists, 3 combos damage dealt, and 10 components. Man, that build is so fun to play, guys. You should really, really try it out. Anyway, that's the first round. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. All right, second game of the day. We are playing the Mining Collective. We are playing Domination. We are all a little bit late to the party, so we had uh, some uh, some problems in the first phase. Also, we have a disconnect. People are not really moving, and <laughs> I don't know what's going on. So uh, let's uh, let's see what we can do here. We have that guy. Can we shoot him? Nah. It's a linebacker. Linebacker? We can challenge a linebacker. I'm going for override here just because I want to be safe. I don't want to shut down by overextending a little bit, trying to get some damage to the enemy. I have a lot of structure, so um, my overheat damage is sustainable. <laughs> as much as that, I don't know if that makes sense, but um, yeah, we got a lot of structure, so our internal damage will be, again, manageable. Hey, man. Yes, oh yes, oh yes. Kill Victor, kill Victor. Let's go. Push in, push in, push in. Okay. We do this. I just want to create his something. I don't know what it was. I think it was an ultra something build. Um, I, I wanted to get that. So artillery strike to the other side there. Just push him back a little bit. Hello, good sir. Alright, we got this. We open him up. Crit him. And then he dies. That's the plan here. Okay, I think Thank I'm going to drop here. Good. Totally worth it. Um, earn the linebacker is next. Hello, Mr. Linebacker. I am going to destroy your mech, if that's okay for you. Oh, is, is he going for my leg? My leg is very critical. God. It's fine. Why is my leg critical? What did I miss? Um, was I get sh Did I get shot? <gasps> Mr. Victor, come on over here. There's nowhere to run for you. I just stay here. Or maybe not, because there are some more enemies on the right side. I'm pushing right side out of five, guys. I need one or two mechs with me. Um, so I don't know why my leg is so critical. Um, maybe, maybe I forgot something with my armor here. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, yes. Go go, go away with your ultras. You, you just lost half of your firepower because of critical damage. That's so cool. So now we get rid of his heat management as well by just destroying his side, and then we just kill him. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Kill the Dyer. Alright, we just scare him a little bit, and then we do 
some kind of this here. Okay, you, you deal with the Dire Wolf, I deal with the Roughneck. That Roughneck has so much armor. Dire is still not dead. Can we kill him? I need to. Okay. Uh, we are 5 and 3. I really want to kill the Roughneck as well. That guy is pretty nice. Oh, it's a Shadow Hawk now. I thought it was a Roughneck. Um, yeah, about that. I, I have some problems. Ultra 20. Haha, <laughs> scary. Here comes the Roughneck. So this is my target. That's Critter's weapons. Ah, I couldn't. I couldn't. I didn't see that he was a running a triple... A uh, triple LB10 loadout, so that was super scary. I should have twisted that. I was like, okay, maybe with a little bit of face time I can actually kill them. But did you see that? A thousand damage. What is he doing? Ah. Oh, he's trying to fight a light mech with his walk. Uh, yeah, you you are pretty in a pretty bad spot, man. But you are very, very... Um, Lucky that you got a Locust helping you out. Alright, let's uh, get into the fight a little bit more. I want to watch the game to the end. It should be decided already. Yeah, that Mad Cat is basically dead. It is dead now. We have two more enemies alive in the Delta 4 area. And it's only a matter of time until they die as well. So, yeah, good job, everybody. That was It is such a fun build, guys. Really. I, I think I like this more than any other build I did with a Warhammer so far. And I'm not even kidding. So, this is just so much fun to play you have all the tools to put up a good fight you have uh, the pinpoint damage you got the critical damage you got the arm mounted laser weapons which help you uh, targeting weak spots when you found them or when you when you created them then um, you got the 70 ton uh, you got decent hard points you got enough sustain you got a light engine it is so so good guys so i would say if you are looking for a decent hero mech in the sale then uh, try the Black Widow. If you don't have the Warhammer 6R already, because otherwise I wouldn't really recommend it. But if you haven't bought a Warhammer so far, the Black Widow is definitely worth it. We got uh, three killing blows, we got five assists, four kilos damage dealt, a thousand damage here, we got five components destroyed. And yeah, that's your daily dose for today. That is the Black Widow with a mixed loadout. I cannot really pinpoint the name for that but anyway if you enjoyed the video then don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already if you want to support me and uh, then don't go down below to the description there is the link to my patreon page and i hope to see you on the battlefield everybody goodbye